Gwendolyn Marley, a foul-mouthed socialite, and Chip's former boss, perched on the couch. Her decaying ankles are crossed politely. She'd be quite the lady if worms weren't crawling in and out of her skull. Gwendolyn has been dead for several years. No, 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 no. Chip takes cover behind a chair. She glances over the edge. Yep, dead woman's still there. Nope. Gwendolyn eyes what's left of Mika's glass. Chip, bring me that wine. Yes, Gwendolyn. The reflexes kick in. She's an assistant again. Oh, I haven't had a good Malbec in years. Uh, be a doll and pour it into my mouth, please. But you're dead, and I am no longer your assistant. Oh, wow. She's gotten quicker. Must be all the additional testosterone you produce. Not even close to being the worst thing you've said to me. Do I have to ask twice? Chip acts instinctually. She pours the wine over the ghost's mouth. It puddles beneath her on the couch. Chip notices the wine pouring off the cushion onto the rug below. You're leaking. I'm a ghost, you idiot. Gwendolyn rises, floating off the couch. Chains and weights drag behind her. She wears them like accessories. Gwendolyn hovers closer to Chip, who backpedals. I taught you the wrong things, Chip. Not that I'm foolish enough to believe you retained any of the information, but I taught you. This, you are not real. <laughs> like ignoring your problems until they go away. You ignored your husband. I do that. For years. You see, and he wouldn't go away. Now, what's that old saying? Uh, do as I say, not as I've done? Well, what you did is accumulate more wealth than all the Kardashians combined. Buildings, parks, and highways are named after you. I mean, why, would, why wouldn't I do what you did? <laughs> None of that matters, Fluffnut. Compassion, humility, kindness. Those are the things that mark a life well lived. Do you know what happened after I died? <laughs> I went insane, apparently, considering this chillingly vivid hallucination. Well, your spots the open bottle of wine on the table. No one came to my funeral. I was there. So was your accountant. Phil asked you for his settlement. Yeah, I thought that was a little inappropriate. Lightning flashes outside, thunder rumbles. Chip, you have an opportunity to course correct. Change your ways before it's too late. Of course. I am having an anxiety dream, trauma-induced. This is natural. A spider crawls out of Gwendolyn's eye socket and back through her nose cavity. Chip gets creepy. Sure, a dream. You will be visited by three ghosts. Why aren't you writing this down? Hence my fears taking the shape in the form of my dead mentor. It's cute that you still say mentor when what you really mean is boss. So the first ghost will visit over lunch tomorrow. She's sweet, a little over the top. I'm sorry, ghost, lunch, who's lunch? 1 p.m. Will you be there? I held your hand for most of your career, Chip. Do you expect me to hold your hand for the rest of your life, too? I passed your mom on the way here, by the way. Nice lady. She said go to lunch. Wait, wait. she said what? Go to lunch. Ah! So rushes Chip with arms 